Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Rob. You're watching Lists of 13. Here you'll find lists of various topics all in sets of 13. If you have tristodectophobia, an irrational fear of the number 13, this video may not be for you. Otherwise, enjoy the list. This video is part of a series we call Silly Laws by State. You know, a lot of these laws were put into effect because something happened to make this law necessary. That's disturbing. Mm -hmm. Remember, we are not lawyers and this should in no way be considered legal advice. Today we bring you another installment of Silly Laws by State. We started in Missouri. We then completed the states around Missouri. We did a second pass and now we are on three states out. Three Three states out from Missouri. Today we bring you 13 silly laws in Maryland. Number one, in Baltimore, it is illegal to take a lion to the movies. <laughs> That's funny. It makes me think of like the MGM movies. Are they worried that if the lions come on at the beginning, that the lion you take to the movie is going to get upset? I mean, I could see it happening. The lion that you bring to the movie attacking the lion on screen, and then you can't watch the movie because the screen is broken. Right. Or maybe he just is going to eat all the popcorn and the person holding it. Right. Number two, an Ocean City law prohibits men from going topless on the boardwalk. So that's an equal rights thing right there. I mean, if you're going to prohibit women, then prohibit men too. It sounds very reasonable to me. Yeah, maybe not so silly. Number three, a woman can't go through her sleeping husband's pockets by Maryland law. That's entertaining. I'm sure there's a story there. I'm surprised there hasn't been a man that has decided that should also apply to cell phones. Right. Number four, in Baltimore, Baltimore, it is illegal to scrub sinks. So I guess if you want a clean sink, you're going to have to use some type of scrubbing bubbles, something or other. Right. Maybe a, a spray and wipe situation that's not really scrubbing. Maybe you spray it and then use the spray hose to rinse it out. Sounds like that would be reasonable. Right. Maybe. Although I do want to know what's up with the law. Like, what happened? I really don't know. Number five. In Colombia, you cannot have an antenna exposed outside of your house. However, you are allowed to have a satellite dish up to 25 feet in diameter. Interesting. Maybe they believe in aliens and they think that the satellite dishes are safe and antennas are not. Maybe. I mean, antennas are eyesores, but I really don't think that satellite dishes are any better. Number six. In Baltimore, it is a felony to throw a bale of hay out of a second story window. I mean, a bale of hay is kind of heavy and then you get this velocity that's building up and so the actual pressure of it hitting somebody could be higher or something. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but it makes sense to me. I mean, really, I'm most confused as to why are you taking it to the second floor of your house and then it would have to be a smaller square bale because even that's hardly going to fit through a window. A round bale for sure isn't even probably going to fit through the door. Okay. Maybe this is a law from like before there were real mattresses and you filled them with straw. There's a story here. Probably. Number seven, being or pretending to be a fortune teller in Caroline County, you could be stuck with six months in jail or a $100 fine. The thing I'm going to say about this, if you were a good fortune teller, you wouldn't be practicing your fortune telling stuff when there was a police officer around. I'm just throwing that out there. Right. And I'm also not sure who would spend six months in jail versus paying a $100 fine. Unless, of course, you really just don't have $100. Right. Or it's not actually your choice. Right. One of those things certainly is not like the other, though. Number eight. Thistles may not be cultivated in one's yard or garden anywhere in Maryland. The thing I think that these lawmakers didn't realize is that people don't usually cultivate thistles. They just happen. Right. And nobody really wants them, but they are a bugger to get out of the ground. And they tear up your hands if you're not wearing gloves. I've had a thistle pull me on my butt trying to get it out before. It's not a good time. Number nine. In the entire state, it is a violation to be in a public park with a sleeveless shirt. I'm going to go ahead and guess that this is really not enforced. Women's tank tops, sleeveless shirts are quite popular. And then I'd also like to see how they're going to handle that. If you're wearing a dress that's sleeveless, like a sundress, then it's not really a shirt, but it doesn't have sleeves. With those kind of arguments, I'm almost thinking you missed your calling and you should have been a lawyer. Oh, I'd be really good at that. You can't argue pretty well. That's true. Number 10. In Maryland, a judge shall wear a cloak that is the shade of Coca-Cola 
during court. So what happens if the judge likes Pepsi better? Aren't they the same color? Maybe. Number 11. It is against the law for a Maryland man to buy a drink for a female bartender. Hmm. Not such a bad law as long as he's giving her good tips, she can buy her own drink. She might like that better anyhow. True. Number 12. It is illegal to eat while swimming in the ocean. Well, since you're supposed to wait a half an hour after you eat to swim, maybe they're thinking they're protecting their constituents. I don't know. I feel like you just brought my grandma back to life. She was always a stickler about how long it had been since we ate before we could go to the pool. But furthermore, I'm just thinking, like, unless the ocean's really calm, which is not very normal or often, it'd be really hard to eat while you're swimming in the ocean. Not to mention, you'd get a lot of extra salt on whatever it is you're eating. True. And number 13, Maryland's Right to Dry Act was signed into law in 2010. This allows all renters and homeowners to have clotheslines even where they are not allowed by HOAs or landlords. I actually don't think this law is silly at all. I think it's really cool. I remember as a kid, pretty much most places that I lived had clotheslines and as I've grown up, they've become less and less common but I mean if you've never experienced like fresh clean sheets dried on a clothesline you are missing out but I think at the same time it's funny also because you can be like what now HOA <laughs> I'm gonna paint my house in a color you're not gonna like too what are you gonna do about that fine you make you paint your house you know. and which they could do but you can still hang up a clothesline to spite them that way right we hope that you enjoyed our silly laws in Maryland leave a comment about which law you think was the the silliest or which law you'd have the hardest time keeping. And remember, just because you didn't know it was a law, ignorance is not a defense. Thanks again for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to get notified when we post new videos. After subscribing, ring the bell. After that, tell all your friends. We, we hope, hope you, you enjoy, enjoy your day, day and keep being kind to one another. another.